amazing, and welcome to Let's Talk with Lakshmi, a show about us, our people, our community, our culture, our experiences. And viewers, I'm so proud to say that our Indo-Caribbean countries produce great artists, great musicians in this world. And today, we have none other than Mr. Guyana Babu himself, Terry Gajraj, here in the Let's Talk with Lakshmi studio. Terry, <laughs> welcome to Let's Talk with Lakshmi. Thank you very much, Lashmi. It's a pleasure to be here. Oh, it's a pleasure that you're here. And I am so excited, viewers, because Terry, yes, Terry Gajraj, mm -hmm. Guyana Babu himself, is one of the finalists mm -hmm. for the Chutney Soka Monarch competition in Trinidad and Tobago. Terry, first of all, tell me, how does that feel? <laughs> it feels fantastic. feels great. And, um, you, you know, it's the first time in history of Guyana that Guyana is being represented in such an elite competition yes. at such a high level is the finals. No other uh, time has Guyana been represented like that. So I feel the love of the people. I thank them for their votes and everything in getting me so far. Great. Now, I know most of our viewers know a lot about you, mm -hmm. but let's just go back and tell our viewers a little bit about you. Where are you from in Guyana, first of all? Well, I'm from a village called Firish Village. In you Burbies, know? right? In Burbies, okay. yes. And you know where I live? Um, you know, Guyana is close to Suriname, Venezuela. And I love it because from Suriname, you can tune into radio and you hear like music from Suriname, Venezuela. So I love that part of Guyana that I lived in. Now, that part of Guyana, I believe the former president is from there as well as many Oh, Cricketers, yeah. right? Oh, yeah, so yeah. So that area produces a lot of talent. That's right. Dr. Chedi Jagan, I'm proud to say he's from Burbies. Rohan Kanhai, the most popular, elite, legendary cricketer out of Guyana from Burbies. Alvin Kalicharan as well. So I am very proud to be from that part of Guyana. Yeah, so it seems <laughs> like this place produces great talent. One, a former president. Yeah. Two, sports. Three, an artist. You know... Uh, Guyana is the real country part of Guyana. You know, it's no town, no flash, no nothing, just simple living. You know, like my parents, they go plant their kitchen garden. We eat the food that they plant in the garden, mm. in the backyard, you know. And uh, really humble people with the rice fields, the cane fields. You know, we ride our bicycles, never owned a car or anything. So I love it. And now today you produce... <laughs> 32 albums I read? Yeah, yeah, kind of, you know, I've done a lot of collaborations with lots of singers and I love singing a variety of music. Like, you know, I did three albums of just love songs. Okay. And that was due to my mom. She's the one who used to listen to a lot of old Jim Reeves and country and western. Terry, and <laughs> were you like singing in your mom's womb? It had to be. <laughs> it had to be. Because I read you are, you produce Mm -hmm. the number one amount of recorded albums yeah. out of the Caribbean, out of Guyana? Well, at least I know out of Guyana, out of Guyana. for sure, yeah. But it's because I love it so much and uh, it's a void because like Trinidad, like I go in a show and there are like 10 singers from Trinidad, only me from Guyana. And so the balance isn't there. So I felt that need, you know, to kind of step up and show that Guyana also has good talent. And we have too many talents in Guyana. It's just, you know, we need to elevate. Getting out there, yeah, getting in that yeah. venue. Lots of raw talent, yeah. Like raw sugar. Excellent. <laughs> now, Terry, tell our viewers mm -hmm. some of the places that you've traveled yeah. with your music. Yeah. And also let me know what was your most memorable event yeah. that you attended as a musician. Um, you know, I, I've traveled like, you know, I've done like Suriname and England and Holland. Holland. Yeah, we try to do Holland and stuff like that once a year. And um, what I really love, though, you know, I've done all, a lot of big glamorous events, but I really love it when I can go to like a, a little communi community in Atlanta or Minnesota or one of these far out places like we go Winnipeg, Edmonton, Calgary, you know, and it's like maybe 200 people, but... I feel it. I feel that love, that connection. But yes, I've done the big shows like, you know, the Bollywood thing, huge, huge carnivals, Speaking everything. Speaking of Bollywood, <laughs> Bollywood, yeah. you were the first Indo-Caribbean artist that performed in Bollywood. Yes, I, I must say. The Bollywood say. Awards, right? Correct, yeah. Uh, I was very, very honored to be the first, you know, person from the Caribbean to perform. And that was the Millennium 2000 Bollywood Music Awards. And it felt great because these are the guys we look at in the big Hindi movies yeah. and I'm there sharing the stage with them and it felt really great. 
Now, guys, <laughs> the Bollywood Awards is, mm -hmm. you, you would compare that to the Grammys. So Terry represented Guyana for the mm -hmm. very first time in the Bollywood mm -hmm. Awards, similar to the Grammys to represent mm -hmm. Guyana. I mean, that's fabulous. Yeah, that's our Grammys that's right there. I can't <laughs> wait until, I mean, I know we, we do have the West Indian Awards, which I yeah. know you and your yeah. band yes. came in, like almost every award you guys got a couple of yeah, we got like quite two a few, years yeah. ago. Uh -huh. um, and, and we do have the West Indian uh, Awards, award ceremonies, but mm -hmm. I can't wait until that blows up, like yeah. seriously blows up, like Correct, the Bollywood yeah. Awards, like the Grammy Awards, because it's something that can definitely happen. Certainly, certainly. And, you know, the music is growing, and like you mentioned about the International Chutney Soka Monarch, you know, this is the first year um, that it's on par with the soca and the reggae and all the other musical musical genres mm -hmm. in Trinidad and in the Caribbean because always chutney and Indian stuff is always down there and everything else is there and I wish Guyana would do that for the Guyanese and I honestly don't think Guyana is doing enough for the local chutney artists because right. we have I, 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 I go there I meet the guys I see the talent but government does not encourage them they literally discourage them and you know you we can't know grow like that either. so it's great i'm happy to be in trinidad you see that model hopefully you know the folks over in guyana the powers that be hopefully they can see the potential you know why is it a country trinidad? i mean the same boat brought us from india you know right. and some of us went to trinidad some went to guyana why is it a trinidad is there Up and there. ghana is here you know okay. Yeah, so hopefully we'll bring attention to that. Well, Terry, maybe, I mean, <laughs> you, you made it to the finals, which yes. is a superb accomplishment. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you win, <laughs> maybe Minister of Tourism or whoever's mm. in charge yeah. of doing that in Guyana will say, hey, our yeah. very own from Spirish yeah. Burbies, Guyana, yeah. Yeah. made it number one. Let's do something in Guyana. Let's bring yes. the talent here. Let's encourage the local talent here. And Correct. I mean, you can, you can yeah. start that. Yeah, yeah, you I know, certainly you, hope you so, can, yeah. <laughs> you can definitely, it could be your stage, your venue, and, yep. and do something like yeah. that. Yeah, well. So tell me, what was the biggest event? I've read something about you performing in London. Yes. Can, um, sorry, London. Yeah. Um, a huge event there. Tell me about that. Yeah, oh, well, that was another great venue that we performed in. It was the Wembley Stadium. Okay. And, and, you know, that's a huge one because you have Lata Mangesh. You name all the biggest names in the music industry, Indian, English, they all have performed there. And I was very lucky, very humbled to have performed there as well. And it was very nice of the promoters in London to take us over, JMC Trevaney Band, and quite a few local artists, you know, to give us a taste of what it feels like to be on such a big stage. Right. <laughs> now, I know you, I, I know you personally mm -hmm. from yes. when, I, I don't know, like five years old yeah. in Mandir, Brooklyn yeah. Hindu Temple. Correct. But I know you singing bhajans and always Correct. participating mm -hmm. in local community shows, fundraisers. Correct. <laughs> and I know, Terry, you still do this. Oh, yes, yes. You still I mean, do this, even though you're this, <laughs> you're a superstar. Yeah. You are an international superstar. Thank you. But yet, you are so humble mm -hmm. that you will still come to these small events, right? Yeah. Small fundraisers, like you said. That's where your heart and soul oh, is. Oh, yeah, yeah. But why? Why? I mean, you know, sometimes <laughs> people get so big, and yeah. you're big, yeah. okay? Yeah. And they forget. They forget about where they came from. Tell me, Correct. why do you, Terry, still continue with these local fundraisers and community events? Because I, I've been there. You've been there. I've been there. And pretty much I'm still there because, uh, you know, I just have a big name because and it's the people who make me feel like I'm a big star. So they're the ones I always give my respect, my love to. Make sure I go, I help them because they help me. And I know <laughs> you, you do help and you encourage a lot of upcoming oh, yeah. stars. Yeah, I do that because, you know, I see the talent. Like, for example, Mr. King Raj okay. there, you know, it's like, you know, raw, he come on in the Caribbean star, you know. It's like, he wasn't even going to enter the competition. I was like, give it a shot, you know. It's like, all right, I give it a shot. And star was born. That was it. And you have lots of guys like him who can do Waiting it. Waiting They just born. need that little nudge, you know. Now, yeah. he was in your uh, Summa T video. Yes, yeah. King Ra Well, you know, that. <laughs> you know, and, you, you know, for young artists out there, you know, I, I think he's like a perfect example. You know, you got to have that passion for it. 
first thing, like anything else in this world, you, you gotta want it. If you don't want it that badly, you ain't gonna, gonna get it. You gotta put your heart and your soul your in it. Soul. It's not gonna happen. And you know, it always pays to have a good education as well. Go to school, I know it's kind of boring for parents to tell you, go to school, you know, learn your school, walk, read your book. But even if you make that money, you're gonna lose it all if you don't know how to spend it or how right. to save it, you know. So it's very important that you keep a balance in life. What does Sumati mean? Um, Sumati, well, I just learned pretty much that <laughs> Sumati means about that good in you and a human being, right? But the song Sumati, once again, I come from a village and I always tend to, uh, my heart is still there. You know, like the simple living, people riding their bicycle and, you know, uh, I remember the days, you said, you know, you said, don't eat your roti and your step and thing, uh -huh. you know. Um, and Sumati is like, for me, it's like the perfect song. Okay. Perfect chutney song. It tells a beautiful story. At the end of it, love conquers all, right? It, it reads like a Bollywood movie. It tells a story to buy like the gal, but the mother and father don't like him <laughs> because then why he married one guy with plenty money. money. <laughs> and then the guy with plenty of money, a drinky rum and beat you up and thing, you know? So uh, it's reality. And that's what I love, love, passionately love about the song. And it's not a rom song, it's nothing derogatory, nothing bad, it's not anything demeaning to women or right. to anybody. You know, it's a song that we can sit with our little kids, our elders, our grandma, grandpa, aja, aji, nana, nani, and you're still comfortable listening to the song. And you can enjoy it, and there's that message at the end. You know, love, you have a pure love, love in your heart, I mean, no, that conquers everything for me personally.